Hi guys, in today's tutorial I want to share with you one of the most important elements in editing, motion blur. Without its speed ramps just don't look smooth. And when it comes to motion blur, you might wonder which one to use. Many of you are probably using a paid plugin like RSMB Pro, but is it really worth the money? Here I have my speed ramp clip ready and for the final touch, I want to apply motion blur. Let's start with the paid option, RSMB Pro. At first glance, it looks fine, but if you take a closer look, the image is noticeably distorted in some areas. Now let's scroll to the end of the clip, where the video speeds up. As you can see, the motion blur isn't smooth at all. I haven't changed any of the default settings in RSMB Pro, but let's see what happens if I increase the blur to get more effect. The image quality gets even worse. Now let's try the free version, CC Force Motion Blur. This one is a true winner for me. It also has a few downsides, which I'll mention later, but first let me show you the visual quality. Take a look at the background in the car, the image remains clean and sharp and I really love how it looks. Let's scroll to the end of the clip as well. Once again, the image stays clean, with no distortion or artifacts like we saw with RSMB Pro. Now I'll increase the motion blur by changing the shutter angle from 180 to 300, and set the motion blur samples to around 20. Even with these settings, the image is still impressively clean, so the winner in terms of quality is clearly CC Force Motion Blur, but it does come with a trade-off performance. When CC Force Motion Blur is applied, your PC might struggle during playback, and the render times increase significantly. However if you're aiming for top quality results, I believe it's worth the wait. RSMB Pro renders faster, and plays back more smoothly during editing, but it loses when it comes to visual quality. So, is it worth it? In my opinion no, because quality matters more than rendering speed. Here's a quick tip and recommendation from me, if you want high quality motion blur, Use CC Force Motion Blur, but don't apply it while editing. Instead apply it only after you've finished your entire edit and are ready to render. The render time will be longer, but the final results will look much better. And just to be clear, RSMB Pro isn't bad or useless. If you like it, you can absolutely use it, just like I and many other editors do. But if you're working on a video for a client, I highly recommend using CC Force Motion Blur for the best quality possible. Hope you found this video helpful, thanks for watching and if you enjoyed it, please give it a like.